So, uh, today's video is going to be a bit different because, well, I'm filming to open a box of controller. This beautiful, beautiful controller. And yeah, so let's get to it. So, I got this from my girlfriend. So, she's really, really awesome. It was my birthday back in May. And... Voila. Oh, you guys want to see what's up? This is the silver color... It's beautiful man I know it's open because my girlfriend had to check the inside of this box if it is working properly before she gave it to me so yeah it was opened by my girlfriend so so let's toss this out so whoa this this is this is this is the main event right here and as you can see well, uh, I gotta say, man, the camera right now, it doesn't do justice with how beautiful the color is uh, for this controller. Because as you can see, it has this glittery effect. And if you know the original uh, PS5 controller, the white one, I don't think it has this glittery effect. So this one is definitely an upgrade from the original one, in my opinion. And... Whew, just look at that and the back plate too man it's like a matte gray the color is so similar to the one that is on the playstation one so very very beautiful very very beautiful controller and feels good man feels good now i know i'll be playing this with a lot of gacha games and a lot of my own personal game like uh persona 5 jrpgs and man would you look at that? This, show it out. I'm kidding, I'm not gonna show it out. So, we got the manual book, I guess. Sony Indonesia, because I am living in Indonesia. So, this is, oh, the receipt. I'm not gonna show it to you. Uh, it costs like, 90 grand. Sorry, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's 90 bucks. All right. Oh, shit. All right. Sorry about the shake because it's a bit scuffed. I'm filming on my phone. And this is just the manual book. Uh, yeah, it's not that important because I know how to use the controller. By the way, I have the Xbox 360. Sorry, not 360. I have the Xbox Series X. And I'll be comparing it. Uh, this is the warranty, warranty stuff. So yeah, I'll be comparing the Xbox Series X controller and the PS5. And this one is customer service. So yeah, all good. Sony authorized service center. Hopefully, if I have any trouble with this controller, I can, you know. Uh, get that back to work all right so this is the manual book actually not that one when disposing of the wireless controller who want to dispose a fucking controller man i don't know so many stuff would you look at that it's japanese uh i don't know oh if we actually have a broken part, maybe we can actually buy it because they have the hardware part names. Maybe though. Right, that's cool. And we have the manual how to pair the controller right there. Right about there. Now, I am going to bring out my Xbox controller and let's compare it. So, yeah, I got two of them right here. And I must say, man, this one, the PS5, is lighter in the hand. This one is heavier. Maybe because I have an external battery in this one. I mean, aftermarket battery. So, maybe that's why. So, there you go. Side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, I think this one is bigger. Like, the Xbox one is bigger. Definitely bigger. Backplate. The Xbox Series X is a bit too bland for me. But this one, man, man, the color, I cannot get enough of this color because 
I thought the color will be like super, I don't know, uh, too neon-y to, for my liking, if you know what I mean. Like a neon red or a neon yellow. Like I don't like that kind of color, but man, good job. Thanks, babe. God damn, the color is just too, too beautiful. Okay, the thumbstick. Uh, this thumbstick is a bit more, I don't know how to say it. Maybe like more rigid than this one. This one feels lighter, but feels a bit more hmm, cheap, I must say. Dude, Xbox controller is definitely not cheap, but this one feels a bit more rigid. Uh, so yeah, buttons hmm, feels a bit more like inside. This one has a more... Okay, so I think this has less travel time than this one because this one uh, is a bit more tactile than this one. This one, it feels a bit more like when you press. It's a bit more silent. Huh? <laughs> I don't know how to say it. This one too. This one is like you can't hear the press of the button. But this one, I don't think you can. Like, feels good though. Still feels good. This one, L1, R1, L2, R2, yeah. The trigger feels a bit more, uh, like you need more pressure to press than this one. This one feels so battery smooth, battery smooth. As you can, uh, yeah, as you can see right there, feels so smooth. Uh, this one feels, yeah, like I need to press it more. I mean, it's not a problem, but this one definitely uh, better in my opinion you can just press lightly and then yeah so like if you want to play an fps like a competitive fps like apex legends or csgo csgo yeah apex legends uh people usually bind the firing and the ads to l1 and r1 because of the travel time in a controller right but this one it's so light it's so light it doesn't matter for me actually so that's good that's good and like I said, feels way lighter and the color man. Holy. Thank you, waifu. Thank you. So there you go. Side by side. PS5 controller versus the Xbox controller. In my honest opinion, uh, both of them are good. The PS5 is not better and the Xbox one is also not better. Both are the same. It's just that what you like, what brand you like, that's it. And how it feels in the hand. And for me, I think this is definitely bigger. I think it's it's for a bigger hand like mine, but definitely heavier. But I think it's also because of the battery, like you need to buy another battery, right? A rechargeable battery. So maybe that's why it's a bit heavier, but all in all, it's pretty good. And this one too, man. PS5, I used to have a fatigue when holding a PS4 controller back in the day. But man, I tested this out and I play Ghost of Tsushima uh, for like four hours, three hours to four hours. And I don't have a fatigue in my hand. So this one feels so good. So thank you guys so much for watching this one. And I know it's a bit different. It's not the usual stuff. And hopefully you guys find this very interesting and hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys again on the next video. Bye guys.